22 years ago on a beautiful, quiet Tuesday morning. Uh, I was on the phone with one of my bosses. His brother called in, you know, interrupted the phone call. So uh, Jason comes back and says, Joe, I'm going to let you go. My brother's in his office in the uh, Empire State Building, and he saw a plane hit the Twin Towers. I'm like, what? Let him go. Go grabbed the guys I was working with. Now, we're about 15 miles, maybe even 20 miles from north of the Trade Centers on that fateful day. You couldn't tell anything had happened. The first indication for me was that phone call. I don't remember exactly what time it was. I, I didn't look at clocks that day. You know, we had no personal impact from it. We were miles away. In the same state, miles away. Um, but I remember how eerie that whole day started. You know, uh, it was a beautiful, calm day. And then 19 terrorists, 17 of them Saudi citizens, attacked the United States and killed over 3,000 people. And by that afternoon, I mean, as far away as we from, from ground zero, the phone lines got tied up real quick uh, because everybody reaching out, oh, you know, my cousin's down there or whoever's down there, you know. Uh, in 93, the first time they bombed the towers from inside, uh, my uncle had been working for the government in that building. Um, years later, uh, my cousin Eddie had been working for a trading company down there and I wasn't sure if he was in that building or just in that immediate area. Um, <laughs> so many people that I know had direct impact. A uh, little girl, little girl, a woman who I went to grammar school with, who when we were kids together, one of my sister's friends, uh, Janine. Her husband was one of the heroes that died that day. I never met him. Uh, an old friend from the Mahoney's crowd that I hung out with, and you know, for those that know, I'm not going to explain the Mahoney's crowd, but Bruce. Bruce was a Port Authority cop. Uh, I remember when he had been a, a New York Parks police officer and worked his way up to the Port Authority. We were all proud of Bruce. I mean, he, was, he was a guy from the neighborhood that I knew. But other people knew him much closer and 22 years this still they've named this a street uh, you know in, for him in our old neighborhood there's a little memorial park next to the church where i went to school you know so 9 11 hits everybody differently um i'm fortunate to say that none of my direct friends or family died that day and i'm also fortunate to say that none of them have died since as a result of working on the pile. Everybody thinks of that horrific day, and it was a horrific day. You've seen the videos, I don't need to go over it. But it was months afterwards. We had one of my engineers here that worked for me, um, told me, he said, Joe, I'm, I'm not gonna be here for a couple of weeks. I'm like, what are you talking about? We have an operation run. He goes, I'm going down uh, to cut up steel to help recover the bodies, and that's what he did for months. Now, 9-11 uh, is different for everybody, for people in Pennsylvania, for people in D.C., for people in New Mexico, L.A., Dallas, you know, Miami. We're from New York, you know. Um, you know, a few years later, with the uh, bombing at the Boston Marathon, you know, they talk about Boston Strong, and I, I don't take anything away from them. Boston's a great town. They were strong. They survived that. This is New York. It's 9-11. We survived. You know, we survived, and we're here, we're not going anywhere. And MBS and the House of Saud 
may burn in hell. Never forget that a supposed ally of the United States exports radical Islam out of the kingdom so that these Wahhabist clerics don't dethrone them for their whiskey swilling debauched ways, their western ways. So what they do is they drop tons of money on these clerics and they export schools and they and don't forget Osama bin Laden, bin Laden Holdings, bin Laden construction, one of the richest families in the kingdom, close personal friends of the royal family. 17 of those 19 bastards that day held Saudi passports. Never forget. The Saudis actively work against democracy, against the United States, against freedom, against security. And we kowtow to them. Jared Kushner ran to do business with MBS. While he knew that MBS more than likely had uh, Jamal Khashoggi chopped up into little pieces in an embassy in a sovereign country, not his own. Because the Saudis don't care about borders, they don't care about right or wrong. Yeah, this is about 9-11. Don't forget on 9-11, Saudi Arabia is not our ally. They don't support peace. They only support their own greed and their own existence, the family, the Saudi family's own existence. They wage a war of genocide in Yemen against the rebels in Yemen. They secretly do deals with Russia, China, Iran. And yet they are still begging for American security deals in the Middle East. They can't live without our bullets, but they have no problem with us paying with the blood of our children. Never forget 9-11-2001. When Saudi terrorists attacked the United States. And then we went to war with Iraq and Afghanistan. And Saudi Arabia still stands. Mecca, Medina, should be glass ashtrays in the desert. If you're thinking, if you're thinking I'm being unkind, I am. I am, but aren't they? Before anybody comes at me for being some sort of radical or Islamophobic, I haven't mentioned Islam once. Not about Islam. All religions are bad. I can rant on for hours about that, but I won't. Because there are people that value their faith and need their faith at a time like this. To pray for those that have gone ahead and thank them for their sacrifice. So, uh, not my usual cup of tea, I'm sorry. I'm going to upload this to the channel. You don't have to watch it. If you do watch it, you can stop early. If you report it, you're an idiot. It's called the First Amendment. I'm not a monetized channel. I don't really care if anybody comes at me. You know, I'm going to speak my truth. My truth is that I'm an American born and bred, a New Yorker from birth you know? um, and many of my brethren died that day so make the best of this day remember those never forget never forget their insult to our way of life never forget those innocence that died for what? Have a good day. Bye.